She's particularly interested in looking at these structures called um, corpora lutea, which are what's left when an egg comes out of the ovary, because we think they're very important in elephants in maintaining the pregnancy. Imka's doing a PhD. Uh, I think we, there's a lot we don't know about elephant reproduction, and I think what we do know is that the way that pregnancy is maintained and the hormonal changes that occur during the pregnancy are probably different to any other mammal species. Um, and so Imka's trying to take every opportunity she can to scan pregnant elephants, to look at their ovaries and see how important these particular structures are in maintaining a pregnancy. And uh, because the institute in Germany that she works for were uh, absolutely crucial in helping us get this elephant pregnant by artificial insemination, um, we just return in the favour really by uh, allowing Imka to come and scan and see what more we can learn about elephant pregnancies. So at the moment she's um, managing to get a view of her right ovary, which is this big structure in the centre there, and I think it's got... So how, she, how many do you think she has in that ovary? Many. Last time I counted 11. Right. It's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Did you just sort of do multiple sections through the ovary and then... Yeah. 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 And are you, are you just moving backwards and forwards there, are you? Yeah. yeah. yeah so all, all of that was... Um, what we call transrectal, and that's the only good way of getting to look at the ovaries, which is what Imka's particularly interested in. But from our point of view, you know, this individual pregnancy in Norjahan, we want to know that the fetus is okay. And because it's so big now, it's dropped right down lower into the abdomen. So we're going to try and scan through the body wall now to just check that everything's okay. And so that movement we've seen is not you, is it? It's, it was that's just it on its own. Yeah, so that's, tail, that's the end of the tail, isn't yeah. it? It curved around, yeah, yeah. okay. So I think it's, it's, as we've seen it before, I think the head's up. The head is towards her head, isn't it? And the tail's yeah. behind in here. Yeah. It's really difficult now to get an idea of how big the calf is, because as I was saying earlier, the, the field of vision from the scanner just isn't big enough to look at it all at once. So you're, we're seeing bits like the tail or a hind leg pushing out. Um, and hopefully now we're going to get a view of the thorax. And uh, if we're really lucky, we'll be able to see a fecal heart beat within the thorax. But we know it's alive, it's moving around very nicely, um, not so much to suggest it's stressed in any way, um, everything looks great. But yeah, it's hard, hard work, Imka's having to really push to you know, get a deep enough picture. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so it's about, uh, it's about 80. Okay, well, yeah. Brilliant. It's got a heart. Wow! <laughs> Can you see that? Imka did a really great job there of scanning different parts of the fetus. So we saw it right from the back end, the tail, through the abdomen, uh, into the thorax where we were able to image the fetal heart going. So we have a, a kind of uh, heart rate from that. And then, so, so the, the, the head is now about, about 10 centimetres across in, in diameter. And people have done work scanning baby elephants in the uterus before. So we, we don't know off the top of our heads, but we'll be able to look at some literature and establish how long we think this fetus is as well, what we call the crown rump length. And I think it's probably something like this now, uh, maybe 60, 50 to 60 centimetres long probably.